Hey guys, it's the Coyote Loco, and today the blood tests are in. All right, so we're gonna go through my blood test today and see if the vegan diet is working for me. All right, so these are legit blood tests. She took the test last week and they came in this week, so let's start with the glucose, the sugar in your blood. I eat about maybe over 600 grams of sugar or carbs a day. So number is 84 and the normal range is 65 to 125. So 84 seems just about right. My sodium 140, normal 135 to 148. So we're good with that, maybe a little bit low. I do run into problems with sodium and I do have to supplement that with sometimes because my diet does lack it. Potassium, looking at 4.5. Hmm. Normal's 3.5 to 5.3. You know what that means? These tw 20 bananas a day, I must not be eating enough bananas. Yeah, 20 bananas a day and my potassium is perfectly normal. You know, you need to eat 10 bananas to get, to get your daily requirements, by the way. So, one banana has about one tenth of what you need. So, and I eat about, you know, I'm on a 5,000, 6,000 calorie diet, so I eat twice as much as everyone else. So I um, guess I'm allowed 20 a day, you know? 20 a day keeps the doctor away. See, other big things, well, we got a lot of, everything here is in the normal range, as you can see. Now, coming down, here's the big question. Am I getting my protein? Where you get your protein? 7.1. The normal range is for protein 6.4 to 8.9. All right, so fruit, does it have enough protein? It sure does. Calcium is good, alkaline phosphate. Okay, so now coming down to my liver functions over here. And what we got is by bilirubin or by luberubin and AST. Now these are two enzymes in your liver uh, that your liver secretes and I've done a lot of research on this just before coming to this video. I'm going to post some links I got down below for you. Now in most marathon runners, actually in just about all marathon runners, we're going to actually have a pretty high um, value for these just because your body is actually breaking down so much muscle, your, the enzymes in your liver is what is actually helping you recover and repair the damaged muscle. Now, I'm running 20, 30 miles a day, people. Of course, these enzymes are gonna have to be a little bit higher to actually recover from all the training I'm doing. And this is so common in just about all marathon runners. And even in ultra, ultra marathon runners, I've heard of stories of people after they've taken a blood set saying that it looks like they just had a heart attack or the readings are of what of a heart attack patient had because these levels are actually so high because so much damage has been done to their legs, their muscles, and even their heart muscles from all that running. So, is it the healthiest? I really don't know. You know, ultra marathon runners do live pretty long lives. Um, I'm, as for uh, the vegan diet, well, vegan diet seems to be working at so that's pretty healthy as for running 30 miles a day mm, I guess I could question that a little bit more but I mean you know you're not gonna run a 210 marathon without you know a lot of training so a few these levels are higher that means you're recovering maybe it could indicate a little bit over training that your body's really pushing through to actually help recover itself but you know that's all the reason what I read about for having these levels high and that's what my doctor said too, so um, he, he, he probably knows a thing, he, what he's talking about. Cholesterol, all right. You don't need to take in any cholesterol. My overall is 138, pretty good. My HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol, is a 46. Why my bad cholesterol is 72. Now normal ranges for that is uh, less than 40 for the uh, HDL, right? Oh, sorry, is that greater than 40? Shoot, uh, greater than 40, right? Greater than 40, 
So I'm a 46 for the HCL and less than 130. And what are we at here? For the low, for the bad cluster, we're at a 72. So we're way below 130 on that. So we're good. Triglycerides. Does sugar raise your triglycerides? It's 102. The normal for that is you got to be under 150. So triglycerides, the fat in my blood, is pretty good. And it's not low or anything, too. And I eat very low fat. I, I think after this video, I got to do what I eat in a day or something, because I'll probably uh, give a gist of what I'm eating and stuff to actually get these results. So we got the white blood cell counts. Everything is in normal range. The only things that aren't in normal range are these two, the liver functions, which are high. My liver is in overdrive trying to recover after uh, my 10k race I ran last week maybe because I, I took this blood, clay, blood test about two days after I broke 30 in the 10k went 29.58 and that was one L race <laughs> alright so we got over here alright so let's go over here uh, we got the poly limps monos doo -doo -doo, all normal Right in the normal range. I don't know what half some of the stuff means. I should I should know. I should be doing more research, but I've been a little bit lazy, been busy with school. Obviously I haven't been able to make too many YouTube videos because of school. But shame on me for not knowing some things. But I'm not a doctor. I'm a music major. I play the piano and I run. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Uh the uh vaccines you took when you were a kid over here or something like that so additional summary and okay so the two enzymes for my liver are a little bit high obviously from running a lot all right so hope you guys like this video I'm gonna eat more bananas because my potassium is normal which is crazy that's awesome and yeah, I got these red bananas, they're kind of cool. I was in Philadelphia the other day and they had red bananas. I'm going to give those a try. I never had them. And yep, so that's my video. And I'll do a video on what I'm going to eat in the day sometime when I get the chance to it. So, does the vegan diet work? Yes, it does. Uh, does running 20, 30 miles a day work? Well, is it the healthiest? I really don't know. Someone give me some feedback on this. And oh, like always, thanks for watching here on the Coyote Loco Show. <laughs> right, eating yams for Easter. Hey, Anthony, what's going on? What's going on, huh? Go. What? <laughs> you killed it. Oh my god!